Hi, Gemini. This is Just with your September 8th, 2020 weekly general read. I hope you guys are having an enjoyable day so far, Gemini. Child support. <laughs> That's what I see. Some of you definitely uh, will be paying child support if you are a Gemini woman and you're going to court. It looks favorable for you. Um, and so I do see that. Also, settlements of some sort. It could be with work, home, anything. But you are in some type of either litigations or you're awaiting judgment about money. How do you move forward? Settling something of some sort. I also see your career life looks really good. Homework for some of you, you may be, uh, congratulations, you just got the job. Now you're negotiating salary and all the particulars. Um, some of you, you have to move because you're going to be working at a distance from your job. It's at a distance. Some of you may just be commuting at a distance and right it's going to take you away from family um, or you're moving on together i also see for some of you someone new can come to your team or come work at your place and it could be you know a bit of a romance for some of you um here so career looks really good for some of you like i said it looks really good and you're moving forward or you're moving on from one place to another um how is that gonna work out you're thinking it's a lot of waiting and not sure if you're going to take this job or you may be trying to do too much like how am I going to do this how am I going to do that like trying to worry about you and everyone else um, but you're going to that's going to go away you'll drop that you'll be done with that you're just going to move on especially both of you will but I feel um, a little bit more stronger energy without guilt from Gemini women you will just keep moving forward money looks amazing amazing and some of you have this idea this plan um i don't know what kind of plan you're hatching up it looks like you work in tandem with other people i, I see either paying out things knowing that you're gearing up to pay out something pay someone off um get something taken care of that's going to take money you're going to be in negotiation again or needing to make uh, some type of um, agreement with another person that looks very lucrative looks very that, that it could be successful this could be about business your own business or business partnership is what it looks like to me some of you could be getting mother a parent some type of family member in um, uh, assisted living home or getting someone to help and aid someone it could be a child it could be uh, a mother some of you also I see children. So there's a lot of focus on children and trying to either get them in school or deal with particulars when it comes to kids. So yeah. So again, like I said, it looks really good. Being able to have this change work the way you want it to, that may be a, a bit of a challenge. You have to wait a little longer, but it looks like it's going to come, whatever just changes. Home life looks good. I see some of you coming back home. Um, you're going you're going home or you're coming back home after some period of time of being away also i see for some of you not being in communication with someone in the home so you guys may not be on the best page right now um it's like someone just wants everything to be forgotten let's not talk about it let's not deal with it let's just be um or you owe me if you want me back prove it to me um and someone Maybe cold and not as emotionally available the way that they used to be is still love here. But someone, it seems like the woman here has gotten a bit cold in this household and dynamic. And she does not feel equal. She feels like she's kind of being used um, or the or the e somebody's ego is getting in the way of the love. And so... This woman feels like all she's there to do is to make someone else feel good, right? Stroke your ego, be there for gatherings, make you feel good, make you look good. Other than that, it's like you really don't need me. Someone is kind of having that energy, whether they're telling you that or not. It could be vice versa, of course. So I do see some quiet dynamics in the home where two people may not be on the complete same page. And it almost seems like the man here doesn't even give a damn. Like, so <laughs> it, it could be one of those things where it's like he pays the bill. So, you know, this is the agreement. You take care of the home and everything in it. And I pay the bills or you could deal with someone that has um, strong alpha energy is what it looks like. Also, um, 
And this is kind of just how the two of you get along. But I do see someone not being so happy where they used to be more nurturing, caring. They used to be the one that um, I think was a little bit more emotionally involved here. Somebody's coming out of that and they're they're kind of giving the other person. They're letting somebody have it. I, I think some, whoever this is has had an issue in the past. There's been arguments in the past. Or someone said what they needed to say in the past, but it never sticks. They'll they'll get over it and then they'll be nice again and then they'll be helpful. So it's almost like um, not being taken serious or someone feels like they're being taken for granted. But it's just a cycle that you guys stay in. So let's look at love. Single Geminis. Well, you have a lot out there. Um, if you're putting yourself out there, you would have a lot to choose from. Um, it's it's so many, it can be a bit overwhelming or confusing. This also could have come out of nowhere. Like, where the hell did all these people come from? Or, you know, how did all my exes start coming back to me? Or people that remind me of people that I know. There's a lot of interest here. You may find it at work, in your neighborhood. Just any idle thing that you're out doing, it's like you're meeting people left and right. Be careful because not everyone is worth your time. I do see exes past people, karmic relationships. Of course, you know your relationships right now are karmic with North Node and South Node in your first and second house. So karmic relationships, those relationships where you meet the person, you have no clue that they're going to be in your life for the next however many years, or this person is about to change your life in a very significant way. So one of those kind of connections that are out there now and it's really up in the air about where things can go. For some of you that are possibly engaging with people, it, it's not clear of where any of this is going to go. What is clear is that each connection you have right now with those people, it's karmic. It is something that's going to lead to something else. Even the most insignificant one, ones, it's something that leads to, it's an experience that will lead to a better understanding down the line, okay? Um... Let's look a little bit deeper for you single Geminis. Like I said, you have love on the menu, but some of you are kind of, you're not opening up to love, okay? So there's that. Nobody can penetrate you. So, so yeah, you're going to let that energy go. And some of you, now some of you are still trying to get over a past relationship, a family dynamic, um, an ex that you wanted it to go the distance you're still trying to get over that you will get over that and I do feel like for some of you if you've been wishing one and praying and hoping someone solid real new someone that you can depend on confide in someone that will be loyal and caring let's look deeper at this person I don't know I want to talk too soon Well, you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna meet a go getter, someone who is established or who is establishing themselves. Uh, they may be very established, being be it physical, like monetary, or their character is very established, and they know how to get what they want. I do feel like this is going to be a very passionate relationship, um, but again, it long term, this may not really amount to anything. You have because someone is very ambitious and relationships are secondary or not even important. Um, and I don't feel like you so much are dying for a relationship. It's just you're healing from a situation as well. OK. So there's that. Yeah, you, you want to speak. You want to talk to someone. Some of you Gemini men want to speak to a woman. This could be a fire sign woman, Leo, Sagittarius or Aries woman. Um you're ready to talk. For some of you, it's 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 two different ways. You haven't told this woman yet that. Uh, OK, OK, so f no, it's it's mostly this. <laughs> you haven't told this woman that you're gone. You're not coming back. OK, she doesn't have to be a fire sign. Leo, Sagittarius or Aries She could be any sign, but she's giving off fire energy. But you haven't told this woman yet that you've already moved on. Like you're not, you don't want to be with her anymore. And you're closing the door on the cycle on the two of you. It could have been because of other people. There definitely still is love here. 
but you know it's a karmic relationship so you know it's a push and pull and i think someone kind of wants to be someone wants to control this relationship so that's problematic um whoever this is you're gonna go back to them gemini men eventually like you just want your freedom right now but you're gonna try to you know you'll, you'll circle back around to this person slowly but surely and try to um win them back over they may be showing you signs that they don't care about you anyway right now um you're, you're unimportant so there's that that may have something to do with why you're cutting your losses at least for now with the person uh so let's look at gemini couples well gemini couples looks like you guys are trying to work a situation out trying to get back into peace and balance in your relationship your person has either um, reveal something to you or they've made a decision and it looks like there is a lot of um, love and kindness and apologies and that sort of thing mending the relationship the, the problem is there's distance between the two of you or it, um, it's kind of like up and down it'll happen then it'll stop then it'll happen then it'll stop uh, so you guys are more on the it's happening now um, cycle between one another I feel that for some of you it has a lot to do with commitment um, who's wrong who's right if we're gonna do it we're gonna have to do it this way for some of you, you may be getting ultimatums like someone's giving you an ultimatum or vice versa um, there also can be an issue with a third party here someone's mother or a another person of some sort is interfering in this relationship making it very hard and it's now very obvious, right, um, that either it's found out that someone else is, is playing a part in your relationship um, or someone's behavior has disconnected from the relationship. And again, there's that, you know, if, if you don't want me or you don't want to do this, we don't have to be together. You still love them. There's still love here, but there are thought, thoughts about walking away and leaving them behind. There could be, like I said, another person that you guys kind of have to say, okay, so there could be another person that you've been seeing, getting to know, have on your mind, and you probably want to just take a leap, go take a trip, go see another person is what it looks like to me. Yeah, yeah definitely so the biggest issue here with gemini is either their mate or they are or their mate someone is cheating basically and kind of sloppy too almost like with no care um not really being the most discreet it happens when the person leaves for quote unquote work or goes out of town or travels hell they could just be saying they're going to the store and just that quick they picked up a number from someone so there is third party energy that is problematic for others of you there is distance between the two you don't live anywhere around each other and there's a very strong need to physically be together be in each other's physical space and i do feel um for some of you you have someone who um knows this whoever's cheating the other person knows it or whoever's kind of moved on and now they're engaging with new people other people a particular person this other person that you left behind they know they know it um and i i know i'm talking to gemini couples but this is a third party relationship dynamic and someone's pissed whoever was left behind or whoever's being made to feel like they're secondary they're pissed they're they know what's going on they're not dumb they probably have already made it clear of what's going on and whoever's out there kind of doing their thing they just feel like listen i just want to be free for a moment i just want to be a free be free in their mind they may be saying i'm i'll come back i'll make everything okay but for now i just want to be free now they may just want to be free from everyone from it, it, all all people that they've been seeing uh, but I do have someone here who is not in the best shape emotionally because of it. Some of you maybe have taken a break from this person. You're in a, a break right now. 
And again, there's a sense of feeling as though they don't care. It could be you behaving that way, like you don't care or vice versa, as I said. But the woman here is not in a good place. Let's just say that. And the man here, he's okay. He's He has more things going on in his life. The woman may feel like, okay, you don't love me anymore or we can't make this love real. I'll leave. I'll go. You can stay. Um, or you can move on. I'll let you go if that's what you want type of thing. And right now the, the male energy is saying, yeah, that's, yeah, thank you. Well, I was going to do it anyway. <laughs> so, um, I'm glad you came to terms with the situation. Has she come to terms with it? No, she hasn't. She wants the man to come back and love her and to kind of almost a little beg for her forgiveness and to want to work the situation out. But that's not what he's doing. Okay. Um, so in the extended, we're going to look deeper at this relationship. How do they feel about you? The relationship. What secrets are they keeping? What do they want to tell you deep down inside? What are their hidden emotions? We're going to also look at how do they see the relationship? Where do they want this relationship to go in the future? And what will their actions be? And ultimately, what's going to be the outcome? We're also going to look at Aries to Pisces. How do they feel about you? So if you're interested in that, click the link in the description box below. If you would like a personal reading with me, you can click the links to my website, set something up. And if you're new to this channel, welcome and subscribe because I'll be back very soon with another one. Take care. Bye.